going on? Hey guys. All right. Let's see if people are shuffling their way in here. And we're going to be doing a shitload of mosaic cellos. 24 here to be exact. So let's get right to it. Have Ming Man, Craig, Felipe, Terps, Yellow, Bus, Neely, and Cruz. I don't know if I can uh, find you a fat Pikachu, Cruz. I don't know. You know, I like to think of myself as a bit of a Renaissance man, but I have my glaring blind spots. Can't win them all. Nobody's perfect. All right. This is random division style. So we have basically eight rows with all four teams from their respective divisions. Let's go ahead and roll it. <clears throat> Has to be over a two, no snake eyes, and we've rolled six times, all right? We go once, twice, three times, four, five. All right, five times on the list, six times on the dice roll, meaning this will be valid. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Boom, we got, looks like the NOC least up at the top. So that's how we're looking. Boom. And Felipe picking up the AFC West. Very nice. Neely with the Bengals. Steelers, Ravens, Brown. That's a nice one. Burrow, Claypool. Bus hitting the uh, Cardinals, Seahawks, Rams, Niners. Yellow, Packers, Vikings, Bears, Lions. That's the NFC North. Terps, Dolphins, Tua. As well as Patriots, Jets, Bills. And Craig getting the Saints, Bucks, Panthers, Falcons. Hopefully we'll get a nice uh, Tom Brady Genesis for you, Craig. Because that division kind of sucks. Trades now open. Hit the gold mine, did he? Well, there's going to be a lot of boxes here, so. A lot of ins and outs to sort through. <laughs> nah, that's not what you get, bus. It's perfectly reasonable. Personally, personally um, <clears throat> I'm not a big partaker in the Pokemon stuff myself, but there's no denying that it's here and it's really big. So, what are you going to do? Gotta give the people what they want. So that's what the breakers do sometimes. a couple divisions that aren't very good. Um, NFC South, unfortunately pretty pretty shit. So that 
sucks, but... Never know. Could hit a big Brady somewhere in there. Maybe one of those uh, numbereds or a Genesis. Hell, who knows. Doesn't look like any trades going down. Leave it open for one more minute here. And I'll get the teams list posted. Are in, uh, you can only get those in choice anyway, the nebulas. Alright, looks like we'll probably close it down here. Let me get these list of teams posted and then we'll break. God damn, this can be a lot of cards. <laughs> Buckle up and get ready. Mosaic football. I got a lot of it. <laughs> is bus is bus flexing being the second worst, I think. I think that's what's happening here. Weird flex, but okay. Yeah, looks like we got a big baseball just posted in the uh, high roller. So, hey, look, more sports in the sports card investors. <laughs> All right, let's close it down. Craig, I've already spent prism money. When you get into the breaking cycle, you have to start ordering months and months in advance anyway. And then retail is very easy to get. I would never save money for prism retail. All I have to do is wait for two weeks out of release for retail to be completely flooded by the sneaker kids. Just like clockwork every single time. And then I swoop in and buy shitloads of it. It's really just science. So yeah, Prism hobbies are expensive at the wazoo, so there's really not that much pre-ordering to be, unless you can get allocations anyway. And if you can get allocations, well, then you're pretty good. I mean, um, Prisms basically was priced by Panini at the height of the craze, which was about two, three months ago. And if you look, sometimes the, the pre-order price has already come down a bit. So I think 2020 Prism hobbies are kind of overpriced right out of the gate, unfortunately. But... We uh, do have what looks to be one hell of a rookie class on our hands, so. That always plays a little bit of a factor. Remember, 
remember when the Mosaic Hobbies came out, there was uh, quite a bit of buzz around them. Um, do what is that? Three. I'm gonna do three at a time. What a bogue! Damage Mac B. Now he'll never gem. So the Titans are not as good as everybody thought. That defense looks pretty bad. I want to love the no huddle. I get that some people like the variations. I personally, uh, I don't love it rather have the NFL Uni myself, but, you know, to each his own. <clears throat> All right, let's get going. Robert Woods, Breeze, Julio, Bettis Green, Moss, Peyton, Gakwe, Cunningham, Fournette, Cream Hunt, Flea Flicker, Bills, Cole Komet, Derwin, Jerome Bettis, Andre Johnson, Aaron Rodgers. Rodgers Mosaic. Dalvin Cook, touchdowns, and Tua, NFL debut. All right, pretty good start for the Dolphins. Watch out for Rogers cards. There's actually a pretty decent chance that Rogers could take MVP this year. I think Russ did have it in the bag for a while, but he's starting to turn the ball over a little bit more. So. Definitely see a Raj sweep in there, but I think Mahomes, if he keeps those turnovers down, there's just gonna be no way. Le'Veon, Stafford, Cole Beasley, and Michael Vick, true silver. T. Higgins, damn it, T. Kamara, Josh Allen, Zeke, Green, Megatron, Leonard, Troy Polamalu, Thielen, Wagner, Gonzalez. Will to win Derrick Henry Mosaic and Jalen Rager. Yeah. No, I, I still think that Russ absolutely could still be on track, and I think he's still the favorite for that reason right now. I'm just saying that it's actually, uh, you know, a little bit closer because Russ had a pretty bad game against the Bills. Four turnovers, very unlike him. I don't expect he will have another game anywhere near that bad. I think that's a bit of an outlier. So. Well, you never know. <clears throat> I just sold uh, a bunch of Naeem Hines Dunruss on Starstock. He must have done something. Did he have another two touchdown game? Naeem Hines only scores in bunches, that guy. He is the biggest boomer bust running back I have ever seen. You would never play him in season long because you get destroyed. But then on the other hand, in DFS he's very attractive. Especially because Rivers loves to dump the ball off to the backs. John Brown, McCourty, Pro Bowl, Watson, Watt, Riggins, and oh! Hot damn, boys. Looky what we got there. Pink camo, Herbie. Tillman Darnold, debut Taylor. Hot, hot heat. Grats AFC West spot. Felipe. Grats on your beautiful new pink camo mosaic Justin Herbert. All right, Mac B. Let's make way.
Well, that's a promising start, isn't it? Pretty substantial investment in Russell Wilson myself. It's in wax though, not in cards. If you can guess what that means. Well, we should see at least one Genesis out of this, I'm hoping, or autograph, numbered blue, maybe. Oh, holy shit, is that a Genesis? Damn it, no. It's that stupid insert. Always gets me. All right, Tomlinson, Roethlisberger, Cleo Mack, Green, Allstar, Thielen, Aikman, Zach Thomas, Danny Dimes, Minshew. Miles Garrett, Flea Flicker for the Cowboys, Zeke and Dak and Amari. Gibson, Lockett, Gilmore, Terrell Davis, Thurban Thomas, Rogers, Rager, debut. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Well, yes, 2012 unopened boxes. I thought maybe he'd be a little more specific, but yeah, you know, it's the general idea. Haskins, Namath, Allen, Devontae Adams, Old School, Barry Green, Devin Duvernay, Conley, Gordon, Tillman, Joe, Willie Namath, Tony Gonzalez, Buss, Connor, Patty Mahomes, Hop, Chubby, and Anthony McFarland. You want to invest in Johnny Hecker? No, you don't. Nobody wants to invest in Johnny Hecker. Stop saying ridiculous things. Ooh, I just saw the bag of this one. Damn. Somebody's going to like that. Three pinkies, Landry, Josh Allen, Jalen Rager, pink camo, Rager for the Eagles, Brunel, Camara, and there he is, Tua, pink camo debut, Montgomery, Wagner, and T. Higgins. in on the Rams. Uh, maybe Aaron Donald. I mean, Aaron Donald's trajectory right now would put him like basically in the conversation for the most dominant interior defensive lineman of all time. So... If there's a defensive player maybe you think about looking at, maybe it's Aaron Donald. He doesn't really have that J.J. Watt style marketability and charisma, but he's just a freaking beast. I'll say like, uh, if you watched Warren Sapp play on the defensive line, Aaron Donald is like a combination of J.J. Watt and Warren Sapp. Like he has the strength, but also the quickness, the quick twitch, the just, the guy's a machine. 
<laughs> Dude, Abram is like PFF's worst rated safety. Like out of 107 safeties, he's like the worst one. But the whole Raiders defense is complete shit, so. It's hard to point fingers and know who's to blame when like there are multiple pieces that suck. Plus, they're all young rookies figuring it out. But right now, it's pretty ugly out there. But it's like at the same time, Abram is a strong safety, so coverage is never going to be his strong suit. He's just going to try to smack the shit out of somebody. this new keyboard but it's all super in my way now cam chancellor jimmy g green judy debut lynch michael thomas john brown watson true silver aj brown jake Fromm, bradshaw kirk cousins sutton green mcfarland Debut Taylor, Darnold, Mike Williams. Robert Woods. What year is Woods? Is he 2013? Get a select from that year. If it's 2013. Ryan. There's a Tampa Bay Flea Flickers. Kinlaw. McCourty. Brunel. Kyle Rudolph. Peyton Manning. Watson. Wentz. DK Metcalf, Kevin King, Montgomery, the Flea Flicker. Green for the Saints, Camara Breeze, Thomas, Tua. There he is. Nice base, Tua. Dolphins looking very nice so far. Already our third Tua that we've hit. That's the first base, though. <clears throat> I think we got us a nice little box here on this first one. Got us a nice little box. Watson, McLaren, Javon Kinlaw, Cortland Sutton, DK Metcalf, Tua! Oh, hello! Tua, Mr. Tua and O. Tua. Ryan Polamalu Hall of Fame. Well, that's Herbie and Tua already. How do we like them apples, Mac B? Mac B says that uh, he's digging it. <coughs> Where's Felipe at? <laughs> Yeah, we just need a uh, little Joe Burrow now. So there is some debate now about whether Dalvin Cook is the best running back in the league now. And I'm here to tell you, let's pump the brakes slightly. Okay, yeah, Dalvin is a tremendous running back. Immensely gifted. Maybe the best pure runner right now. But he's still not as lethal in the passing game as Christian McCaffrey or Alvin Kamara, for that matter. So he, you know... 
yeah, you rush for 200 yards back-to-back games, people are going to start calling you the best running back in the league, and that's fair. He's looked like it. McCaffrey's been hurt. You know, Kamara has been started out kind of hot, but fizzle. Sicky, Largent, Lindsey, Singletary, Silver, NFL debut, Chase Claypool. Nice. I want a Jalen Hurts. Silver debut, Claypool. Jalen Hurts base in there as well. <clears throat> Waller, Watt, Hicks, Rager, Green debut. Eagles Green. Jerry, TJ Watt, LT, Keenan, Larry Fitzgerald, Elway, Miles Sanders, LaVisca Chanel rookie, Stidham, George, Boomer, Aikman, Hall of Fame, touchdowns, Peyton, and an NFL debut, Clyde Edwards. Clyde Edwards Elair, look for him to have a very solid finish to the season. I think Mahomes has been just feasting on some really terrible pass defenses right now. You start getting into colder weather, you want to run the ball a little bit more. So I think that Clyde Edwards could still bounce back and end up a top ten fantasy guy, but right now he's just been kind of Left out in the cold. I don't know what that is on that Saquon. It's weird residue. That's crappy. Max Crosby, Aaron Jones, Brian Burns. Touchdown, Masters, Green, Henry. There's Clyde Edwards, Hilaire, base. Juju, Godwin, Earl Thomas, Will Fuller, and MVP's Brady. Last three pinks, and then we're done with seller number one. Tony Gonzalez, Derwin James, Jerry Judy debut for the Broncos. Zeke, Bettis, Cole Komet, Bears, Kevin King, Adam Thielen, and MVPs, Peyton. All right. One down, one more to go. Pretty dang good first box, but... Missing the hit. We didn't see a Genesis, an autograph, or a number card. <clears throat> oh, Lawrence by far, man. Lawrence by far. No disrespect to Justin Fields, but Trevor Lawrence is... A godlike prospect. Trevor Lawrence prospects only come along like once every every decade. <clears throat> Trevor Lawrence is a. I think you could look back to Andrew Luck, where everybody just knew, like, okay, yeah, he's got the goods. thing about Lawrence is when he came in and replaced uh, Kelly Bryant 
and just kind of the way he took over the team and just owned it. Like you could tell something was happening. I like the hair, man. Sunshine. What a flow. It's alpha as shit, honestly. I mean, have you seen his girl? Speaks for itself. You can do whatever the fuck you want when you're the quarterback, son. QB1, you got it made. Taysom Hill, Lamar Green, MVPs. Lamar not being the MVP of my fantasy teams, actually. Peyton, Jimmy, Matt Beasley, Cole Komet, Martin, Goff, Julio, TJ Watt, Judy. No, I see. Have you seen Lawrence's girl? She's nice looking. So obviously the the hair isn't a turn off to her. Tom Brady, Fournette, Kareem Hunt, Will to Win, Dak, J.K. Dobbins, rookie, Bettis, Thielen, Terrell Davis, and J.K. Dobbins, silver mosaic rookie, from Baltimore. Bettis, Jacobs, Sanders, Robinson, Tony G, Russell Wilson, Drew Silver, and another T. Higgins. Nothing crazy yet, Cruz. Nothing crazy. Just some little Herbie and Tua pink camos. Yeah, but I've known some people who are like saying like, oh, you shouldn't have hair like that. Like, what does it matter to you? Like, who cares? It's the year 2020. What is this, the 60s? <clears throat> Talking about friggin' quarterback's hairstyles over here. Like, come on. Let it flow. If you got it, then flaunt it, right? Nah, this second box... We haven't hit a Genesis or anything too exciting, though. Cousins, Favre, Godwin, A.J. Dillon, Packers. Conley and Duvernay. I don't know, Zach. I've already run two today, so I'll probably save the soccer for tomorrow now. But you never know. personally think these <clears throat> solo boxes are hella good value right now for as cheap as they're going for. You will never get them this cheap again, probably. I don't think you have to worry about it being mass-produced on the scale of basketball cards or anything. like. And honestly, you shouldn't be investing in base cards that aren't at least prism. Like, I don't really like investing in base cards, even if they are prism. It's just inviting higher pops, is what it is. So. Uh, who else is in the class? Let's talk about it. This QB class is looking pretty nice. Last year's, you know, I know the other guys have fizzled out, some of them really hard. Drew Locke, yuck. Danny, God, really yuck. Uh, Haskins, yeah, no. But by God, Kyler 
is a superstar. I'm telling y'all. Is that Genesis? Yes, Genesis. Yes, yes, yes. Genesis coming up. Riggins, Adam, King, Howie Long, Rager, Ramsey, Debo, Zeke. Is it a rookie? Oh, man. Let's see. Oh, man. It's... Don't... Okay. Okay. Mark Andrews. Okay. I was hoping... I was hoping it wasn't Matt Judon. Okay. That is not bad. Stud. Tight end. Congrats, Baltimore. God, that looks gorgeous. Love Genesis so much. Let's go into Neely. I was just, I'm just glad it's not Matt Judon because I saw Ravens and M and I was like, oh God, no, please not Matt Judon. <laughs> Andrews at least plays uh, tight end really well. So, congrats on the Genesis. Flea Flicker, nice. Another two a debut. Rolling up the twos. Delvin Cook, Jarvis, Matt Ryan, got game. Keenan Allen, Tua base. Wow, really racking up the twos here. Miami, yelling it. <clears throat> yeah, so De'Ara King, um, I'm actually a U of H alum myself, so I watched him two seasons ago. And yeah, he's definitely dynamic. I've known about him for, you know, over two years now. So You don't have to convince me that De'Ara King can do some things out there, because I already know what he's capable of, and it's a lot. Woodson, Mark Brunel, why is that? Terrell Davis, Eli Polamalu, Robert Woods, John Brown, Watson, Old School, Staubach, Kinlaw, Cook, Gakwe, Kasiki Green, Drew Locke, Provo Watson. Um... Kyle Trask is actually semi-intriguing until you look at his turnover-worthy throws, which is a big concern right now. His accuracy is pretty good, so... And he's got ideal size. He's a big boy. You know, he's probably about, like, 6'5", 230. You know, big pocket passer style. Von Miller, Largent, Tyler Johnson, Pink Camo, Mac Stidham, Kevin Green, Eifert, Eddie George, and Jacob Eason. Nice. Yeah, it's Eric King. You gotta watch out for him. I knew when I saw him go to the, to the U, I said, that's a quarterback that's going to change their fortunes. <clears throat> I'm just honestly a, a little bit upset about that. Like Dana Holgerson, basically after U of H, lost their first two games, completely just decided to tank the season, basically redshirted. King, and he was really not happy about that. And then, oh, well, you know, he ends up transferring. That's right. Trask was his backup. That's right. I remember them saying that. I how that happens. Uh, we have two. We have two Florida schools relevant again, huh? and Florida. 
Florida State, however, very much in the shit house, and not getting out anytime soon. Marino Green, that's pretty cool. Devin Duvernay, Le'Veon Bell, Derwin James, Mahomes, Hopkins, True Silver, Smith, Jake Fromm, Drew Brees, Landon Collins. Tillman, DeAndre Swift Green. Baker, Jonathan Taylor, Josh Allen, Khalil Mack, another Josh Allen, the other Josh Allen, McCaffrey, Rager, Wagner, Kamara, Josh Allen again, Devontae Adams, Dick Butkus, and Anthony McFarland. Yeah, no, I think Kyle Trask is probably a more traditional. You know, he really impressed me when they played... Um, LSU last year, I think it was, though. I said, that kid's got some moxie to him. It's like uh, Daniel Jones right now in the NFL. I'd say it's a lot like that. Daniel Jones is just killing himself with really avoidable turnovers. He's not holding the ball up where he needs to be. He's hanging the ball out there when he's standing in the pocket. It's just hanging out there like a loaf of bread, and the DEs are eating him alive. And you're not going to stay a starter in this league if you just let the ball hang out like that and don't ever do anything to correct it. Judah, Juju, Irvin, Kyler. Nice pink Kyler. There you go, Bus. There's something anyway. Eason, debut. Drew Locke, Keenan Allen, and Zach Moss. Love Zach Moss. Try to tell y'all all preseason. Go get yourself some Zach Moss. Singletary ain't gonna last. Devin Singletary is a complimentary running back. He's not built to carry the load. He never was going to be a bell cow back. It was always going to be probably a timeshare. But I think it was a, obvious to me that Zach Moss would be the goal line back in that scenario. But when you're on a team with Josh Allen, he's just going to steal all the rushing touchdowns for himself. Which is why he's such a damn good fantasy quarterback. Yeah, can we get one Burrow here? Jeez. Got all the two as you want. No Herberts either, except for the pink camo. Gerald, John Elway, Emmett Smith Silver. It's like the second Emmett Smith Silver. Jalen Hurts, base. Cousins, Lynch, Boomer. NFL debut, Green, Jordan Love. Nice. Packers. TJ Watt, Bradshaw, Lindsey, Singletary, Rice, Antonio Gibson. here. Hicks, Steve Largent, Kyler, Aikman, Taylor, Lockett Jones, Burns, touchdowns, LT, LaVisca Chenault, 
Elvin Gordon, Connor, Earl Thomas, AJ Green, Joe Namath, and Clyde Edwards Elair debut. Yeah, uh, sorry about that Bengals spot. That sucks. That sucks when you got two whole boxes and not a single one, like not even a debut. It was just, uh, it was all Tua. That was all Tua. Feast or famine sometimes, that's how it goes. The rich get richer, huh? Alright, we'll finish here with our final three pink packs. Yeah, at least the Genesis is a consolation prize for you. So Mark Andrews Genesis is really nice. <clears throat> Any Genesis is nice. But uh, it's a little bit nicer when it's actually like a Pro Bowl offensive player. TJ Watts, rookie CJ Henderson. Yeah, there were still some cards for sure, so you didn't skunk completely, but no Burroughs hurts. Saturday, Waller, Kenny Galladay, Chandler Jones, Gesicki, and finally, J.K. Dobbins, NFL debut. Yep, no Burrow. Just tons and tons of Tua's. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll do a little hit recap on that. If this was your first break with me, please do remember to DM me your shipping address. I ship out every Monday with tracking. All right, we got... Oh! Excuse me. Dobbins, pink. Jordan Love Green, Kyler Pink, Zach Moss Pink, Eason Pink, Mark Andrews Genesis. It's beauty. Silver Russ, J.K. Dobbins, Lamar Green. Pink Judy debut, Silver debut, Claypool. Rager Pink, Higgins Pink, Rogers Mosaic. To a debut, to a debut. To a base, to a base, to a pink base, and finally to a, and Justin Herbert. Yeah, you know the good thing though, Neil, was uh, with having so many cards though, you'll still get a lot of value back. So you get a lot of little, you know, 50 cent, one dollar cards here and there too, so. Sorry that you didn't hit any burrows there, but at least we were able to get you Genesis, so always look on the bright side of life, right? All right. Well, thanks, guys, again. Feels good to run another break. <laughs> Let's get back to more of that. So thank you, and peace out. We'll see you next time.